If you want to create Apple Glass effect in Figma, just follow these steps. First, you need to add a rectangle. I will use 120 by 48 pixels dimensions. For fill, we will use pure white and 1% opacity. Next, let's uh, rename this layer to layer one. And after this, you will need to copy it four times, but follow me through. Each time you copy it, you should make this rectangle smaller by one pixel from each side. So you can do this evenly by using option key on Mac. Just drag it and hold it and it will work perfectly. Then just duplicate it one more time, but be careful Figma sometimes freaks out and misplaces the layers. So in this case, it was okay. Next, we will have to add effects like a background blur to each card separately. So for the first one, we will actually use 200. For the second one, we will go for 100. For the next one, it's going to be 75. Then it's going to be uh, 50 and for the last one it's going to be 6. Now we will have to add another type of blur which is layer blur and uh, we will apply it to every layer here except for the first one. So let's go and add it. We'll leave it at 4. Now the most interesting part, we should copy the first layer and put it on top and remove the background blur effect. After that, you will have to add a stroke, select white color and do it 10%. Put it all now into a group, call it button, select all layers, apply 100 for rounded corners. And the final stroke is to add a inner shadows. I will just copy paste the properties, but if you want to see how they are set up, you can copy them from here. And what's left is just to add Apple icon in the middle. This is how it looks like, pretty sleek. I like it a lot, especially it looks better above some white elements. So that's how you do this. If you wanna get the file with detailed instructions, just type in comments glass and I will send this file to you.